History. Is the dyspnea acute or chronic? Well, acute onset suggests infection or maybe PE. So imagine, let's say your patient has, uh, what's known as Hammond sign, in which uh, there is uh, pain in the calf upon dorsiflexion. Uh-oh. This then indicates your patient may have DVT. And whenever you have a patient has DVT, that thrombus might then break off, may result in a massive saddle embolus. And what's your patient doing? Rapid shallow breathing. <laughs> acute onset. And rapid shallow br- breathing. Understand your patient is still remaining hypoxic. That's important. Chronic is more consistent with COPD or maybe perhaps interstitial lung disease. And we'll get into that when we talk about fibrosis. What about the dyspnea? Well, does it occur while doing something in particular? Was there exposure that was taking place, maybe to an allergen and whatnot? And that will then tell you that what caused the dyspnea in that case. Dyspnea with exertion present before dyspnea at rest. And that's important for you to understand. That dyspnea, did it occur with increased exertion or did it occur at rest? So therefore, you're thinking more along the lines of maybe heart issues. If it's also the heart and if there's dyspnea with lying down, this to you indicates orthopnea. What does that mean? Hey, doc, I bought this lovely bed. I saved up all my money so that I could then buy this for Christmas. But now I can't even use the bed. In fact, I have to sleep on my reclining chair. What is this? Orthopnea. Why? If it's CHF, then lying down, there's going to be increased accumulation of fluid or edema in the lungs. So therefore, you sit up. And so with that angle, you'll be able to drain some of that fluid. It's called orthopnea. Dyspnea while standing. What's this? Platypnea, common with AV malformations or hepatopulmonary syndromes. And by this, we mean that if the individual has AV malformations, for example, say that you're moving from the arteries and you don't have your capillaries and you moved into your veins. That's called AV malformation. Now, they could be genetic. And when they are, imagine you have dyspnea even during standing because you're not able to properly do what? You're not properly have Gas exchange, that's my problem, because you don't have, take a look at the word, A or abbreviation, A-V-M, arteriovenous malformation. What do you not see there? The capillaries. But you must have capillaries for proper, proper gas exchange. Spend a little bit of time, make sure you know the positioning of your patient. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.